Good morning, everyone. It's Lisa with Power Wash Store PA. I want to give you a look here at um, our latest trailer build. This one's going to be picked up on Friday by its new owner. This one is set up for both soft washing and pressure washing. Uh, for pressure washer, down below here, we have an eight gallon a minute gear drive. Uh, pressure washer, 3,500 PSI. It has an UDAR pump in the Honda GX690. For soft washing on this truck, we installed the half inch Yamada pump, which you can see sitting up there on the shelf. And that is of course, beside our proportioner. The air diaphragm pump is going to be powered by this um, roll air air compressor. And then beside the air compressor here, we have our 11 gallon fuel tank, which is going to be for the pressure washer. Um, just some of the little things that we've done on this build. The hose here that you can see, um, that one's going to be for chemical transfer. So we make this so that you don't have to take the lids off of your tanks whenever you want to fill up your bleach or your soaps. Um, it just makes things easier. It keeps the bleach in the tanks where it needs to be and off the, you know, the equipment on the inside, off the deck of the trailer, you know, the trailer floor just to prevent spills. So we set that up just with a little uh, three-way ball valve here. You'll be able to connect that tail whip to a 12-volt pump and then pump your bleach directly into your tank. It's on a three-way ball valve because we... Uh we are able to flush that line out as well then too. So we won't have bleach sitting in that line. It'll be able to just turn the ball valve and flush that out. The other three-way ball valve that you see on the other side there, that one is just our flush valve for the proportioner. And again, that's just to make sure that uh, we can flush everything out at the end of the jobs. In addition, we do have the Tsunami air dryer installed here on the back of this table, and that is just going to serve to uh, keep the moisture out of the air compressor. In addition to that air dryer, we do have a coil of hose that sits underneath the air compressor. Um, what that's going to do is that's just going to help, again, prevent the moisture from getting into the air compressor. Um, so it just gives it a, a longer period of time to, uh, to cool down and then get rid of the condensation before it hits the compressor. So we made this easy to drain these tanks at the end of every job. There is a ball valve here. Uh, you'll just open that ball valve. We have it going through the floor of the trailer, uh, just so you don't have that rusty water, you know, around your equipment. Back in the back here, we have our tanks. This is a 200 gallon uh, water tank. And behind that is going to be our 55 gallon bleach tank. And then on the other side, there is a seven gallon soap tank. I'll walk around the other side so you can see that as well. We did bleach, or I'm sorry, we did vent the bleach tank as well. You can see a coil of hose that sits up on top of that bleach tank um, that is run down through the floor of the trailer, um, just so it's not venting in the trailer. It's just gonna go underneath there so we don't have any um, chlorine vapors inside the trailer. And then we'll take a walk around here to the other side. We have our hose reels. This one we built with the three 12 inch electric Titan hose reels. Uh, top hose is our garden supply. That's the three quarter Curry Tech hose. Next one down is going to be our chemical supply hose, which is the half inch Curry Tech. And then down below is our pressure washing hose. Uh, we do have a clear cup filter here that is installed for the garden hose feed just to keep some debris you know, out of the tank. And then back in here, just to give you a different view of the tanks, we have our seven gallon soap tank back here. And then we have some empty space back in this area, um, which you will be able to use, you know, for storage. We're gonna put a toolbox in there, um, you know, keep your surface cleaners, any chemicals and things, other things that you need to carry as well. So on this trailer build, we did do, we, we kind of hid some of the hoses, um, our pressure washing line along with the wiring for the hose reels is actually run underneath the trailer. Uh, we encase those in a larger hose and then put them underneath and strap them up to the bottom side of the trailer just so we can keep a clear walkway in there, you know, inside the trailer so you can easily get around and, you know, not, you're not stepping on hoses and, and wiring and such. So this one was one that we did for a customer. Um, again, they're going to be picking it up on Friday. And then here, we have a duplicate trailer. Um, it's going to be this one's twin. 
Um, this one is going to be built, we're, we're building this one on spec. So this one is gonna be up for grabs. So if anyone is looking for a trailer build that's gonna be ready to go, um, here in the next couple weeks, we'll have one available. This is the 14 foot enclosed trailer. And it's basically gonna be set up exactly the same um, as the other trailer here that we just spoke about. Um, we will be applying similar to what we did here. We put a coating on the floor. Uh, we put that, you know, two feet up the wall just to protect a little bit from, you know, chemical usage. But yeah, this is what we have going on here. So again, if you are going to be in the market for um, a ready to go trailer here in the near future, uh, give us a call 717-378-2276. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.